everyone, I'm Sierra and I work for Olive Tree. And right now I'm gonna give you an overview of our new feature, audio. So let's jump into this iPad and get started. So first we're going to open up the library. There are a couple new things in here that I wanna show you. First is that at the top, you can now toggle between viewing all of your books in audio or just books or just audio. So for the sake of this, we are going to select audio. Another difference is that normally when you want to download a resource, there is a green arrow next to the item in your library. Now with audio, there is also a blue arrow. What this means is that when you tap on the blue arrow, you can actually view all the different books in the Bible and download those individually in your audio Bibles because audio Bibles are a really big file size and we figured you might not always want to just download the entire audio Bible. So this gives you the ability to manage that um, more in depth. So let's go back and I'm going to use the NIV listeners audio Bible for this example. We'll tap on it. And as you can see, the Bible text fills out now in the bottom where all this white space is here on this iPad because you can read and listen at the same time. Down at the bottom, you'll see that there are three different buttons. The first being volume, just tap and drag to adjust the volume. Speed, if you want to speed up the narration at all as you're listening. And lastly, connect, because you can airplay the audio out to other devices. This will be really important later. Next, let's talk about how to navigate inside the audio Bible. As normal, you can tap at the top where it says here, Genesis 1, and you can see the verse chooser. And you can either leave this in list layout or come out here, tap the menu and choose full grid layout. We made it possible for you to start at the exact verse that you want in the audio Bible. That gives you tons of control about where you start. Another option is at the bottom here, you can see that there are arrows where you can either go backwards or forwards in the audio. Or if you're feeling super ambitious, there is a green bar up here at the top and you can tap relatively wherever you want in there to kind of choose where inside the chapter you'd like to start. So one last feature here on the screen is this bookmark icon. You can tap here to save a bookmark of where you'd like you know, to later come back and start listening to your audio Bible. And if you want to access these, just tap the three dots up here for this menu in the top right, and you can tap bookmarks. Now you can see all of your bookmarks, tap on one to get started. There are a couple other things in this menu. The next one is sleep timer. You can either have your audio Bible start after eight minutes or say all the way up until 60 minutes, or you can even choose for it to just end at the end of the chapter. Another option is you can view details about the resource that you're using there, or lastly, you can select the Manage Download button to get back to that menu that I showed you at the very beginning. There's one other feature about audio Bibles that you can't get on an iPad or a tablet, but you can on an iPhone or other cellular device. So this is where that Connect button comes in handy. So if you were to send the audio, say, to your car, well, we want you to be able to listen safely. So you can tap now this driving button, and we made three huge buttons for you so you can safely do the most important tasks while listening to your audio Bible, which is first, obviously, play. <laughs> play button's huge. And then next, you can go backwards, and then in the bottom right is the bookmark option for when you're really desperate to save where you're listening. So we are super excited to have released this audio feature. We think that it's going to be a huge advancement, allow people to not only just read, but also listen to the Bible anywhere, anytime. Especially since you can stream or download these. You can listen on the plane, you can listen anywhere where you don't have Wi-Fi or a cellular connection. Just download the Bibles and start listening today. Mm -hmm.